people, welcome back to the Tasty Jamaica Kitchen. On the menu today, guys, we have some Rasta pasta with jerk shrimp. And guys, I'm so excited to share my recipe with you because this is a quick and easy dish and it just pack a punch of flavor. When I tell you the jerk shrimp just nice and flavorful right to the middle and the pasta just creamy and nice with that pepper bite, and I tell you guys, this is a delicious dish that you have to try. So let me go ahead and show you how to make my Rasta pasta in your kitchen. Let's get to it. All right guys, so to make this dish, you're gonna need some shrimp. Here I have some jumbo shrimp, about two pounds. Love, love some jumbo shrimp. The bite just hit different and it just tastes good. So if you could get your hands on some jumbo shrimp, go ahead and do that. If you have large shrimp, that's fine. Still the same flavor you're gonna get. To season this, we're gonna need some allspice berries. This is in powder form. Here I have some green seasoning. If you're not familiar on how to make green seasoning, I have a video up on my channel that will show you exactly how to make this green seasoning. So you could go ahead and incorporate it in your dish. All right, here I also have some wet jerk marinade. So I like to use some wet jerk Seasoning just to get the, the jerk flavor nice and pack a punch in the dish. You're also going to need some Maggi Season Up. Love, love me some Maggi Season Up. I'm going to use a jerk kind to go ahead and season up our shrimp. Here I also have some oil. What gives this dish the rustiness is the rust of color. Right? And here I have some bell pepper. I have a red bell pepper. A green bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper just make it nice and colorful if you don't have all three that's fine it's just that the, the, the different color of the pepper gives it that nice rasta look and guys this is so crazy so I picked this off my tree last week right and I went today to get a pepper to cook this dish and I pick it up and it's a rasta color pepper I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is so beautiful. Just, just take that in. Red, gold, and green. So beautiful, guys. Where you ever see a pepper like this? This is epic. Epic, epic, epic. Right here on Tasty Jamaica, you see that Rasta pepper. We have some thyme and some scallion. So let me go ahead and season up this shrimp and start to roll the ball. Alright, so I'm going to use a little bit of oil over that, not too much. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle on some of the all-spice berries. So my rule of thumb is, guys, just less is more because you can't take out. You could always add, but you can't take out. So go ahead and lightly season your your shrimp and you could always add if you need to here i have the green seasoning i'm gonna go ahead and use all of this so this is about two teaspoons here i have my wet jerk marinade i'm gonna go ahead and use all of that as well and my maggie season up jerk powder seasoning I'm just going to sprinkle some over it. Not too much, guys. You already have the wet jerk that's that has salt in it, so you don't want to make this salty. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this in. Okay, so just mix it in to get all the seasoning incorporated. Get a nice, rich color. That's what you want to have rich season up flavor all right guys so now that the shrimp is seasoned we're gonna go ahead and head to the stove and i'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next okay guys so here we have some boiling water so i'm gonna go ahead and add our pasta to the pot here i have some penne pasta so i'm just gonna go ahead and add our pasta in and some salt all 
All right, so for this pasta, I'm just following the instructions on the box. So for the amount that I'm cooking is seven minutes. So you want to make sure that you follow the cook time of the pasta on the box because every pasta is different. Every size pasta is different. So go ahead and follow the directions on the box and cook your pasta accordingly because you don't want it to be soft. You want it to be al dente because that's when it's going to be delicious. All right, so I'm just going to let that cook and go work on our vegetables. Okay, so while our pasta cook, we're gonna go ahead and work on our vegetables. So here I have the green bell pepper. Just gonna go ahead and get the insides out. So that's what we're gonna need for the green bell pepper. Then I'm gonna get the yellow bell pepper and our red pepper. Okay, so I like to cut my peppers thinner because I don't like to be crunching on too big of a pepper. So I like to make it thinner so that it's not overpowering. You just want to have a nice bite. You don't want to have chunks of pepper. So go ahead and cut up your peppers how you like them. If you like them thicker and you want to crunch on them, that's fine. But for my preference, I don't like crunching on them. So I like a nice balanced bite. So I like to cut them a little thinner. Alright, so here I have an onion. Went ahead and rinsed and peeled it. Okay, so for your onion, you just want to cut that in half and you want to cut it small. And you want to chop it because you don't want to be crunching on onions. You just want the peppers to shine in this dish. So the onions right here is just for flavor and that's a good enough amount. We're going to go ahead and cut up our scallion. Again, you're going to do that finely chopped. I'm just going to add the scallion and onions onto that plate. Because we're going to cook all of this up together sprigs of thyme so I'm just going to add it onto here because I'm going to go ahead and remove them off the stems when I'm cooking them so I'll show you exactly how to do that All right, so let's go ahead and check in on the pasta and start cooking our shrimp alright guys so the pasta is now nice and al dente so I'm going to go ahead and pour the water off and start cooking our shrimp You want to go ahead and keep the flame on medium heat and don't bunch them up too much so it's better to do two batches or three if needed because you don't want them to steam you want them to get a nice sear let that cook on each side about two to three minutes on each side and then you just flip them I'm just gonna go ahead and start turning the shrimp. Wow, guys, that is so beautiful. Just look at that. Look at how gorgeous that looks. So, you don't want to overcook your shrimp, you want them to have a nice color, but you don't want to overcook your shrimp. Those are ready to come out the pot. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those out the pot. Okay. Because again, guys, you don't want to overcook your shrimp. 
Overcooked shrimp gets rubbery and it's not the tastiest, okay? Wow, guys, look how beautiful that looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish searing off the shrimp. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys exactly how to do the Rasta pasta. Alright guys, so here we have some butter. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the pot. And you want to use butter instead of oil because you want to have a creamy base sauce. And make sure the heat is on medium flame because you don't want to burn your vegetable. So here we have our seasonings. I have the red, green, and yellow bell pepper. Some scallion and onion that I chopped. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add these into the pot. And we also have some thyme. I'm going to go ahead and just take the thyme sprigs off. Because you don't want to use the stems. You want to make sure that you take the just the leaves off the thyme because if you use the stems, you're going to be biting into stems and you don't want that. Alright, so go ahead and mix everything into the butter and stir that off. Alright guys, so the vegetables have been cooking for about 2 minutes now. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in our coconut milk. So here I have some coconut milk. It's just the canned milk that I poured in a bottle. Um, you could use a fresh one if you want. But I just find that the canned one is easier. Alright, so I'm just going to pour that in. Okay, so here I also have some heavy cream. I'm going to pour that in as well. So... You just want to eyeball everything. So depending on the amount of pasta that you have, you just eyeball it and see exactly how much you want to use. You don't want the pasta to be swimming at the end. You want it to have a nice base of creaminess. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and season up the sauce. So you season everything, guys. You season the shrimp. You season the pasta water with salt. And then now you're going to go ahead and season your sauce because you want everything to come together and have a nice balanced flavor all right so here i have my maggie season up all-purpose powdered seasoning so i'm gonna go ahead and put some in here so about a quarter teaspoon of that not too much because you don't want it to be salty remember everything is already seasoned so now you just want to incorporate some seasoning into the sauce Here I have a little black pepper, so I'm just going to put some of that in there. I have the coarse kind, so you don't want to put too much, so that's enough. And I'm going to add some paprika, so I love the color that paprika gives to this dish, so I'm just going to go ahead and add some of that in. Again, not too much, you just want a nice color of the pasta. Okay, so don't cover it, just leave it and let the sauce reduce and for the peppers to absorb the flavor. Okay, so leave it for about 3 minutes or so and let everything reduce. Then we're going to come back and incorporate the pasta and the shrimp. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good, guys. Alright guys, so look how beautiful that is. The sauce has been reducing, so I'm going to go ahead and add an orange cheese. So here I have some mozzarella cheese. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. So you don't want to add too much cheese because you don't want to make it too cheesy. Okay, so that's a good amount because you want to give it that pasta goodness. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and add in our pasta that we cooked earlier. Okay. Now we're just going to mix that in well. how beautiful that looks guys so beautiful all right so 
Now we're going to go ahead and add in our shrimp. So I took some out and put to the side because I want to put it on top just to give that beauty because, you know, we all eat with our eyes. So here's a shrimp that I seared off earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Wow, look how nice that looks. And you just incorporate in your shrimp. And that is it guys. So let me go ahead and plate some up, turn the stove off, and show you guys exactly how the finished product is. Alright guys, so there you have it. Nice and flavorful pasta dish. Nice jerk shrimp, creamy pasta, the pepper is cooked just right. Delicious. You're definitely gonna love this one. Alright guys, so go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what you think about this recipe. If you love what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys, because we come in with it every single week. Delicious Jamaican recipes for you straight from the TSA Jamaica kitchen. I love to cook, and I want you to learn all of my recipes, guys. I'm sharing everything. So good, so nice, so creamy, so delicious. I tasted this already and I'm tell I can't wait to dive in. Can't wait to dive in. It's so good, guys. Enjoy and until next time, stay blessed. Say so look who's the guest star today, guys. My mommy. Yes. But you gotta tell her. Somebody's excited for this rasta pasta. Yeah? Yeah? Tell them how old you are. See, I'm 11 months. Say hi to the people. Bye. Bye. Bye.